Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In this flow series we will see how we can automate the process of sending emails to the users or accounts on the birthday or anniversary on every year. So in this video I will explain how to automate birthday or the anniversary email using Salesforce flow. So here we have scenario. We need to automate and process of sending an email to the employees every year on their birthday to give them wishes. So when we create the flow, we need some triggering condition. So at that point, flow should automate their processes. For that here, we will create formula field with checkbox. Then we will create schedule trigger flow. And then in that flow, we will create dynamic email template. And then we will first debug the flow and then activate it. So here is the triggering condition. We will create custom is birthday field on the employee object using the formula field and checkbox. And on that formula field, we will use this formula. This formula says if then here we are using two conditions for that we use and function and then in that and function here we have day of today is equal to day of date of birth of that particular employee. That means here is today's date is equal to birth date of today's employee. Then here we also need to check month of the birth date. Then here we have month of today is equal to month of birth date of that particular employee. That means day and month of birth date gets true. Then this checkbox gets true. That means using this condition is birthday equal to true. We can trigger the flow. So without further any delay, let's jump to the org. First, we will create formula field on the employee object so that we can get today's employee birthday. For that, click on object manager. In the quick find box, search for the employee object. Open that object, then go to the fields and relationship. Click the new button to create new field. Then here we have formula as a data type. Click on it and then click on next button. Then enter the field label is birthday. As you click on field name, it will automatically populate because it's a API name. Then in the formula return type, select checkbox and then click on next button. Now we need to enter logic in the formula editor. Then we need to select if function for that in the function search for if then click on insert selected function. Now we need to enter logical test then value if true and then value if false. Now in the if function we can enter only one logical test. But in our scenario we need to check today's date and today's month with the employee birth date. So here we can use and function and using that function we can add multiple conditions. So here search for the and function here you can see and then click on insert selected function here i am indexing this so that we can get the idea what we are doing now first we will see is today's date is equal to date of birth of particular employee for that here i am entering day today function you can type or you can select from the function now is equal to day of now to check with the field date here you can see we have insert field option click on it and now here we will see all the fields of employee object now here we have date of birth field which we already created on the employee object then click on insert button now here we have today's day is equal to day of date of birth of particular employee now we enter the logic to check the day. Now we will check the month. I am deleting this logic. Then enter month of today. Is equal to month of again date of birth field then semicolon and now here and now this is the if condition whether true or false and now here today's day and month if get match with the particular employee birthday it will get true that means the checkbox get true and if any condition get false the checkbox field will remain same now first we will check syntax here we got error on parenthesis 
so here I miss the parenthesis now as I again check the syntax no syntax error then here we need to select treat blanks fields adds blanks and then click on next button select the profile on which you want to display the field then click on next button here select page layout and then click on save button now here you can see is birthday formula field has successfully created as we navigate to the employee object here you can see employee object now here I am adding the created field on the list view for that select fields to display then search for the is birthday field then add this field and then click on save button and now here you can see in the is birthday field one field get checked that means as I open the current date the current date is 22 September 2024 here we have date 22 and 9th month that means September month and because of that the checkbox gets true now I will change another employee date also so that we can send email to the multiple employees here I am changing date of birth 22 of September and as I change date of birth of this particular employee you can see is birthday checkbox get true now here I am adding email field also to the list view now we will create the flow to automate the process of sending an email for that go to the setup to create the flow in the quick find box search for the flows then in the process automation you will see flows option click on it now here we need to create new flow for that here you can see we have new flow button click on it and now after the updation we have two options start from the scratch and then use the template here we will select start from scratch and then click on next button and now and now very important which type of flow we need to select and now it's very important which type of flow we need to select so as per our scenario we want to send an automate email to our employees on their birth date and now for that we need to always check is there any employees birthday or not and for that checking process we need to schedule some time for that here we have schedule trigger flow click on it and then click on create button now here we need to set a schedule now here we need to set a schedule so that after that time interval this flow will trigger now here we need to select start date I am selecting today's date then start time so here current time is 9.50 am so here I will select 10 am that means on today's date this flow will start at 10 am and now we have frequency in that frequency we have once daily and weekly now when we select the once that means after some triggering condition this flow will execute and after that this will get deactivate the daily frequency checks every day the triggering condition and if there any triggering condition the flow will get executed and now we have third option weekly when you select the weekly when we select the weekly after seven days of a start date every seven days the flow will get executed now here as we want to send an email to the employee on their birthday we want to check daily is there any employee's birthday or not for that in the frequency i am selecting daily then here we need to select object for that click on choose object here i created employee object you can select your object as per your requirement then here we need to enter some triggering condition so after that condition gets true the flow will start to execute so here I am entering here we will select is birthday field then equals to true now this flow will check every day is there any checkbox which has true value or checked value if there is any true value in the checkbox it will get executed and further automation that we will do that will get executed now here we have selected the object and triggering condition and now we need to add email alert action for that click on add element button and here you can see action click on it now before adding the email alert we need to create email template and that email template we need to add to the workflow email alert function now I will show you the email template here I already created one email template 
check the checkbox of available for use then click on save button and this classic email template I saved as a send birthday email. Now this send birthday email template we need to add to the email alert. For that in the quick find box search for the email alert. Here you can see under the workflow action we have email alert click on it then click on continue. Here you can see new email alert click on it. Here you can enter any description send email to employee then unique name will automatically populate then here we need to select object here we have employee object then select template that we created we created you can search here send birthday email here you can see the email template we created click on it then in the recipient type you can select to whom you want to send this email and then click on save button now we have created email alert with the email template send birthday email and the email alert name send email to employee now as we navigate to the flow now in the search action you need to search for the alert that you created as you scroll down here you can see send email to employee this email alert that we created select it and now enter the label alert the API name will automatically populate and in the record ID you need to select on which object field you want to fetch here we want to fetch the employee object for that as you scroll down here we have option triggering employee object click on it and then simply type ID and then in the record fields we have record ID click on it now we added the start condition and then email alert now we need to fetch the classic email template for that we need to add get records element as you click on add element here you can search get records click on it here I am entering label get email template a pen name will automatically populate as you click on it then in the get record of this object we need to search for email template then to fetch the email template we need to select in the field developer name equals to to get the value of developer name go to the email template then click on the template that you created and here we have template unique name copy this name and this name we will use as a developer name for the flow I am pasting the name that I copied now as you scroll down then how to set record field values here we need to select manually and then create record of this object here we need to select email message now we need to set the values for the email message now here we will add more fields in this field we select from address then to address then text body and now this field is from the email message and we need to assign the values for these fields now in this status we need to select the sent value as we select the value it will populate in the numerical form now in the from address we need to select the value from which user's email address we want to send the email for the recipients now here as you scroll down here you can see user click on it and then here you can see email option select that email option now to address now in the to address we need to select the recipients value now for example there is a birthday of particular employee and we want to send email to him now here we need to select the email field of that particular employee for that as you scroll down here you can see record of employee object click on it and then here you will get email field select that email field now in the text body now here we will create a text body for that to create the text body click on the new resource and now in the resource type select the text template then enter the API name send email to employee 
you can enter the description and in the body view as a rich text change to the view as a plain text now i am copying the email template and pasting over here now this is the static email to create the dynamic email that means now here instead of dear employee we want to display the particular employee name so that whenever there is birthday in this email template instead of dear employee the email should go as dear employee name that means that particular employee name here i am removing employee and instead of employee as you click on insert a resource as you scroll down here you can see employee object record click on it and then employee name as you scroll down or you can search for the name field here you can see name employee name now assume that there is a birthday of xyz employee instead of dear record name the message will sent as a dear xyz this is the dynamic email template which we can use in flows and now i am saving this send email to employee resource here we need to add one more field that's very important field subject as we using this flow to send an email in the value field we can enter cheers it's your day and then click on save button now now first we enter the start date and the time and then the frequency and then in the object we selected employee object in that we added the triggering condition then we create the email alert and using that email alert we get the email template which we created and after that in the create records element we select the email message and we assign the value to email message fields now our flow is ready first we will debug it for that click on debug button and then and then here you can select employees for that first here i am selecting jackson james i am copying this name and pasting over here here you can see jackson james click on it and then click on run button now flow get failed now here you can see flow has started it get email alert then it get email template also now it's failed on the send email as you go to the debug details this error occurred when the flow tries to create record storage limit exceed okay so my storage limit is exceed so first i will delete some records for that here i am deleting some leads so i will get more memory now again we will debug the flow for that here i am selecting jackson james and click on run button now here you can see the flow has completed that means it started it got email alert then email template and the flow sends an email to the employee now as you expand the create records here you can see the from address that means the user email then in the status sent that means i have selected the sent but in the status it got the numerical value then we have the subject then in the text body that we created now here you can see in the text template we entered dear and then employee name the employee we selected the name has displayed over here now in this way we can create the email and automate the process of sending an email so i hope you have got an idea about flow in salesforce in that i explain if you like the video hit the like button subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon to get regular updates thank you